Hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to our channel. My name is Charity and today I just wanted to kind of give you a overview of everything that we bring with us when we RV full time in the summer. So we have a 2004 Fleetwood Discovery. It does have a diesel engine so therefore it is what is considered a diesel pusher. We had a gas engine for our first rig that was also a class A motorhome. This is much more our style, much more comfortable to drive down the road. Yes, I do also drive it and um, it's not as scary as you might think, but it's much more comfortable to drive than our um, older one was, which was a Pace Aero gas engine. So I just want to walk you through our setup a little bit about what we need and a few things that maybe we don't need, but we like to have with us. So the first thing I want to talk about is our tow vehicle. So we have a Jeep Wrangler that we flat tow. Flat tow means all of the four wheels are on the ground as we tow this behind us. And the equipment that we have is a Blue Ox tow bar, a Blue Ox base plate, and then also a Blue Ox Patriot 3 auxiliary braking system. And we'll put the links to all of those in the comments below this video. So the other thing that we like to bring with us is our bikes. What we found out very quickly is putting bikes on the back of the Jeep didn't work so well. It was very hard to get in and out of the back of the Jeep. We have a double hitch that allows us to put a bike rack on as well as the connections for our tow vehicle. And then we also have a ladder rack that we purchased on Amazon that will also hold two bikes. We'll put the link for that in the comments below too. And this setup has worked great. It enables us to be able to carry the bikes. We don't have to take them on and off a lot. Our previous setup was not so great. This has been an absolute dream. So this is how we bring our bikes with us so that we can bike to different places and just enjoy some fun on the bicycles as well. So I'm going to start to walk you through some of the stuff that we keep in our basement. So in RV basement is the compartments that go underneath. So if you have a class A, you have pretty large basement storage. In class C's and fifth wheels and travel trailers, it's not as much storage in the basement, but in a class A, there's quite a bit of basement storage. So let's take a look at what we keep in here. So a few things that we keep in here is this is a cover that we'll put over the bikes. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just get that out because we need to put that over the bikes. You want to take that, son? Thanks, yep. bud. Yeah. And then the other thing that we keep in here is these are covers that we will put on the tires if we're going to be someplace for an extended period of time. So if we're going to be there for, you know, a week, then we want to cover up the tires just to keep the sun off of the tires an extra blanket. Um, I won't tell you the story about why this is in here. The next thing we bring with us is our Blackstone griddle. So that is in this compartment down here. We really enjoy using that versus a traditional grill. Makes cooking out just a little bit easier than your traditional grill. So this compartment is where we just keep miscellaneous kind of automotive related things. So we have an extra hitch extension, we have a bunch of just auto supplies, um, an extra fuse, jumper cables, just different miscellaneous things, and also just some extra tools. So you always wanna have some tools with you to just make any sort of minor repairs that you may need to make. The other thing that we have is we have these blocks. If we need to use these blocks to put under our levelers, if we're in a very uneven spot, then we can even up a little bit better if we have that type of blocks. Um, thankfully, most of the places we go have like a cement pad or it's a pretty even spot, but we have had to use those a few times. So we always carry those with us. So these are also more um, automotive related supplies, cleaning fluids, extra oils and things like that. So that is what is in this tub. One tip that I will say is to get a clear tub so you can see what is in it. So that's helpful. Um, a label is helpful to you, but also if you just get a clear tub, you can see exactly what's in it. Yep. So we also have this portable air compressor. That way, if we need to air up one of our tires, we can do that. Um, just your regular small compressors are not going to do it, but a larger compressor um, will do. You can see this goes up to 33 inch tires. Our tires are only about 22 and a half inches. So this works perfect if we 
get in a pinch and need to air up our tires. So this particular basement compartment is a basement compartment that stretches all the way through. It is on the passenger side. And so this is a lot of our stuff that we use more often when we're traveling. So we have our camp chairs. I have a beach tent that is in here. The kids sand toy stuff that is in here. Um, there's a beach umbrella down here. And then over here, I have the patio rug, which we put this out if we have a grassy area that we're in. Um, my softball bag. We've got some of our all natural fire starters. We'll have a link for those below. Some sports balls, um, a lantern, just some shop towels, extra. We always use this in our fuel. So this goes in our fuel when we fuel up. So that always stays in here. So, and then an extra extension cord too. It's always nice to have an extra extension cord because you never know when you might want that. And there's just a camp shovel that's in there too. We like to keep an extra fan. This comes in great, especially when you want to be outside, but the humidity is just maybe a little bit on the high side. Some airflow and some breeze moving just really makes it more comfortable to still be outside so you're not cooped up in the RV, but just being able to enjoy the outdoors, even though it might be a little bit warmer or even humid. So we also carry our marshmallow roasting sticks. So our Grateful Glamper marshmallow roasting sticks work great to do s'mores around the campfire, hot dogs, those types of things there. The best part I think is that with the metal kind, you have kids running around with hot metal. Not a good idea to have kids running around with hot metal pointed sticks. So these don't get hot because they're not metal. They're an all natural bamboo and they are 100% biodegradable. You can pitch them in the fire or throw them away and know that you're not making an environmental impact. We'll have a link in the description to those as well. So the other thing I like to carry with us is just a soft-sided cooler. Um, this comes in great if we are going to be just venturing out for the day. I do try to pack a lot of our own drinks, some of our own lunches, just to save on cost. We do have a family of four and it gets very expensive to eat out all of the time. So I like to carry a soft-sided cooler, put ice packs in it, our lunches, our drinks. There are a couple of extra, just small side tables, bike helmet, basketball, those types of things there. And then in this clear tub, I keep all of our like tabletop mosquito repellent. And then there's a hammock in there as well. Extra paper towels. There's not a lot of extra storage room for a big, huge thing of paper towels inside the RV. So I keep these extra ones down here and then bring them into the RV as needed. And then our swim fins. So when we hit the ocean, we'll have our swim fins there. So that is what is on this side. So this is all of the bike stuff. So we have the bike helmets. Um, this also is just some extra RV little things. So some extra, um, Holders for lights on the awning, just miscellaneous stuff that kind of goes in the RV. We have an extra bike tube, a bike pump. So just kind of the bike stuff goes into this compartment right here. So in this compartment, we have the kids boogie boards. Um, we also have a ladder. One thing I like about this compartment, again, it is kind of three doors, but it's all one big, huge, long compartment. So plenty of storage here. So a ladder is something you always want to keep with you because you never know when you might need to get up and fix something around a window or an awning or something like that. Um, more tools. So we carry quite a bit of tools with us. We are not mechanics by any means, but um, having some tools in case that you do encounter something on the road because Thank God for YouTube and for Google and for Facebook groups. We've been able to figure out how to do a lot of simple fixes on our own, but that would never happen if we didn't carry some tools with us. So we have a couple of bags here of tools. Gorilla tape. Guys, this is a must have. Carry some Gorilla tape. You can do anything with it. So I have this foam mattress that just folds out into like a single uh, mattress. 
This I got on Amazon. I will put the link in the comments. We carry this with us because I always wanted to have something in case one of our kiddos um, just didn't feel comfortable sleeping on the couches that they sleep on or if we have guests. So this works perfect to be able to put somebody on the floor. And this is actually almost more comfortable than our bed. So super comfortable, but it folds up into three different pieces and it stores very easily. The other thing that we have is this type of flexible hose. So this particular flexible type hose is something that is an absolute must have for any RVer. It's very, very long. However, it folds up very, very easily. It's not like a traditional garden hose that you struggle with to coil back up. So we like to keep one of these, especially if for some reason the hookups are further away, but also to be able to hook up two hoses at once to just spray anything off if we need to. We put all of our water hoses for fresh drinking water in this particular compartment. We also put them in a plastic bin so that if there's any water left in them, they're in this bin, they're not getting anything else in this compartment wet. And then we just leave the lid off to allow that water to just dry out and evaporate. So nothing's getting moldy or stinky or anything like that. And this one, we actually keep a separate hose. This is the flush hose. And we use a separate hose for the black water flush. And I also keep a pair of um, black rhino gloves. Another thing we do is carry the coax cable for the cable TV in a bag just so it doesn't get wet. So we keep this right in here. We've got this um, Rhino hose, which is really amazing. And we have two hoses. So it allows you to actually hook the two hoses together so you can go really far. So that's come in handy a couple of times. We don't use it very often, but I would have two hoses in there. And the nice thing about these hoses, they move apart or closer together. So you can extend them and make them as long or short as you want. So these basement compartments are basically the compartments where the batteries are and then also where the inverter is. Now, one thing that I am really enjoying about having a diesel pusher is an inverter. It enables us to be able to charge phones and just run electronics. We can even run the microwave if we want while we're driving down the road with the inverter. So it's nice to be able to have that also takes a lot of battery power and so there are a total of six batteries there's two for the engine four for the chassis or the coach house part itself and so those are all located in this basement compartment as well as just some access to some of the engine things so that is just a walkthrough of some of the things that we carry with us in our basement compartments which again if you are driving a class a the basement compartments are the ones that are underneath so those are some of the things we carry with us. We would love to hear what you guys carry with you. And if you think that we've missed anything, we would love to hear that. So drop us a comment and let us know what you carry and if we're missing anything. Hello. Oh. You gotta really? be kidding me. It's okay. Dude. <laughs> oh, awesome. Good blooper at some point. Nice. I think he has his jacks down. <laughs>